Hello, my name is Stephanie Ireland, Linkage Analyst 1 of the Washington College JS Lab. Today I will be explaining the process and purpose of joining and relating attributes in ArcMap. Joining and or relating data in ArcMap consists of connecting external tabular data to spatial features within ArcMap. Types of external data include text files, Excel files, access files, and database files. In order to import an Excel sheet into ArcMap, one must first organize the data properly. The example on the left shows a complicated form of organization that ArcMap would never be able to accept. The example on the right shows a spreadsheet properly organized with the column headings in the first row and underscores replacing all spaces. The second step when preparing an Excel spreadsheet to be imported to ArcMap is to format all columns. Any columns containing numbers should be formatted as number and the amount of decimals should be verified to allow enough room for the numbers within that column. Date columns should be formatted as date and text columns should be formatted as text. The last step before exporting is to make sure that each column is wide enough to display all of the information within. Any proportions of, that, of a field that are not visible in Excel will not be imported into ArcMap. Beginning with Arc 9.2, users can now add Microsoft Excel files directly into ArcMap. With the release of Excel 2007, you can no longer save tables as a database file. To get around this, you can import the Excel table into Access and save it as a DBS in, excuse me, DBF in Access. You can also import an Excel document directly into a personal or file geodatabase. There are two ways to combine tabular data and spatial data in ArcMap. These two functions are called join and relate. Each should be used only at specific and appropriate times, but how do you tell when to use either of these choices? Joining data is typically used to append the fields of one table to those of another through an attribute or field common to both tables. You can choose to define the join base either on attributes, a predefined geodatabase relationship class, or by location, also referred to as a spatial join. A one-to-one -one data relationship is when there is only one data record for each spatial feature. In this case, you should use join. In a many-to-one data relationship is when there is only one data record but many spatial features with the same ID. In this case, you may also use join. To join data, right-click on the external table in ArcMap that you want to join, hover over Joins and Relates, and select Join. The dialog box displayed here is what will pop up. When joining two features, you have to specify which is your source table and which is your destination table. Your destination table is the attribute table of the spatial feature you are joining to. In this example, it is the parcel boundaries attribute table. Your source table is the external table with which you are gleaning the data you need. In this example, it is assessment data. When joining your source table to your destination table, it is imperative to have a common field with which to base the join. You will usually need to look at both tables to find the appropriate field as though they contain the same data. These fields will usually do so under different field names. In this example, the parcel ID number is labeled as PID in the destination table and parcel ID in the external data table. Relating tables simply defines a relationship between two tables. The associated data isn't appended to the layer's attribute table like it is with a join. Instead, you can access the related data when you work with the layer's attributes. A one-to-many relationship is when there are many data records for each spatial feature. In this case, you should use relate. A many-to-many -many relationship is when there are many data records and many spatial fields with the same ID. In this case, you would also use relate. Unlike using the joining option, where the joined data shows in the attribute table, relating must be viewed by use of the identify tool. 
This is due to the fact that in a one-to-many or many-to-many -many relationship, data relationship, the attributes don't align in a way that is displayable in the attribute table. That being said, the result of a relate between two tables is visible by simply clicking on the feature in the map with the identify tool. This concludes the joining and relating lecture by Washington College. Thank you and have a nice day.